There's no greater reward than the feeling you get when you help others. And no one knows this better than Rodney Smith Jr. An incredible man travels across the US mowing lawns free for anyone in need. But he's not doing this because he has to. Smith just wants to help out people who can't cut their own lawns. Why can't they? All sorts of reasons. Some of them don't have time and others have physical disabilities. Still others are too elderly to do it themselves. And the man is so awesome and generous that he's offering his services free of charge. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot. And here is Why is this guy traveling the US mowing lawns free of charge? Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Like most people, Rodney Smith Jr. was looking for a purpose in his life, and he found it when he noticed an elderly man was having a rough time mowing his lawn. That's when Smith decided he needed to help him out. That random act of kindness was a life-altering experience for Smith, who came up with a brilliant idea. He told CNN, That night I decided to mow lawns for the elderly, disabled, single moms and veterans. Soon enough, he went on a quest that took him across the U.S. What started out as a tiny idea eventually became a more ambitious project. In fact, this summer, Smith decided to mow lawns for people in need across all 50 states, and he intended to do it free of charge. The Bermuda native had a college degree in computer science, but he went to Huntsville, Alabama to get a master's degree in social work. In fact, it was in Huntsville where his lawn mowing project began. Soon enough, he was changing the world with one simple act of kindness. He originally started his goal to mow 40 lawns by the end of winter, but as soon as he reached his goal, he chose to up his goal to 100 lawns, which took him a month and a half to accomplish. Eventually, Smith decided to create the Raising Men Lawn Care Service in 2016, which not only offered free lawn mowing services, but also inspired today's youths to make a difference in their community. The nonprofit organization was aimed at young people between the ages of 7 and 17 in order to teach them the value of helping out their community with just a simple lawnmower. This eventually inspired kids across the nation and beyond. In May 2017, Smith started to travel across the country with the intention of mowing lawns for people who needed an extra hand. He called this mission 50 States, 50 Lawns, and he intended to see this through. A year after his first mission ended, Smith decided to try it again. The only difference was that now he wanted to mentor kids while on his mission. He told CNN, I'm just a man on a mission by God. His mission took him to Jackson, Mississippi, Shreveport, Louisiana, Little Rock, Arkansas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and so many other states until he made his final trips to Alaska and Hawaii during the month of July. This man was on a mission and he wasn't stopping anytime soon. His incredible foundation also created a 50-yard challenge, which allows kids across America and around the globe to take on the challenge of mowing 50 lawns. Smith told CNN that 12 kids managed to reach this goal, which obviously made him really happy. Kids who participate get free protective gear and a free shirt, but they'll earn a new shirt only once they mow 10 lawns, which means a lot of people would have benefited once they earned each t-shirt. When they reach their goal of mowing 50 lawns, the foundation gives them a new lawnmower. While on his 50 states, 50 lawns journey, Smith visited schools and community centers to talk to kids about lawnmower safety and the positive effects that community service offered. Smith knows that people in need of his services, like the elderly, disabled, single moms and veterans, aren't just limited to the United States. There are people in need all across the globe and he'd like to help them out too. Smith made a pledge on his website to mow two to three lawns per state that were within the 30-mile radius of a major city within the state he visited. There's even a section on his site where people in need can submit a lawn. Smith doesn't want kids to limit their services to mowing lawns only. He wants those who take on the challenge to shovel snow and rake leaves for free in order for these young people to develop social skills and feel accomplished by helping out a neighbor in need. Traveling isn't cheap, so Smith is grateful for the many donations that have funded his mission, including companies that have donated lawn mowing equipment. 
Smith is also keen on accepting submissions on his site and social media accounts to decide where he'll mow next. There's no stopping this man. Teaching kids the value of community service is his main goal, and he's not stopping until he spreads the word. Smith told CNN, these kids can make a difference one lawn at a time. And he emphasizes that it doesn't matter how old they are, anyone can learn how to safely mow a lawn. Alana Cavett, who's a single mom from Mississippi, needed help. Between work and the six of nine children she has living with her, it was practically impossible to mow the lawn on top of everything else. Cavett's neighbor would help her throughout the month, but her lawn was still a mess. Until one day, her oldest daughter reached out to Smith to surprise her mom, and it was a very emotional encounter for Cavett. There's not enough hours in the day, Cavett told CNN, but she felt that this experience taught her kids a great lesson about kindness, because the help that came without any strings attached came from a perfect stranger. That's the type of world most would like to live in. It was kind of a shocking experience for them, and it's hard to explain, she told CNN. To have Smith come over and do something so nice was something she knew had left her kids baffled but grateful. But Smith quickly moved on to the next city in order to help a new family. Even while Smith was on his errand of mercy with his 50 states, 50 lawns campaign, he was already thinking about his next summer project, which he calls Seven Continents, Seven Lawns, where he'll provide his services globally. On July 17th, Rodney Smith Jr. finished his 50-state tour, which had begun in May. He wrapped things up in Hawaii, and according to KHON2, Smith said that, I got about four lawns done here in Hawaii. Smith drove across 48 states before flying to Alaska and Hawaii to complete his mission. Whenever he posted on Twitter or Facebook, he would write, making a difference one lawn at a time, according to BBC. And he certainly did. If you'd like to stay tuned and find out what this wonderful man is up to next, make sure to follow him on social media.